What's up everybody, it's Critical. I'm playing Oregon Trail again. Let's do this shit. I believe this is my fourth attempt at completing this impossible adventure. But this time, I really think I can do it. I'm gonna leave in May. As in, may I please fucking complete this and make it to Oregon. Yeah, fuck all this. I already, I already know how this, how this goes. I know this whole song and dance. I'm just gonna go with this dude's recommendations because I don't have a strategy. Fucking three yokes! You must be out of your mind! He's an amateur, a rookie! I thought he was a damn connoisseur here, an expert, a seasoned veteran. But unfortunately that's not the case, he's useless. When someone offers you three yokes, that's how you know you can't trust that person. This dude right here probably... funnels squirrel's piss into his wiener hole and then pisses it out and claims that it's his piss. Then he puts that piss in a bottle, sells it on the market, as piss. Although it probably wouldn't be a very successful product, considering bottled piss isn't exactly in high demand, it's not a inelastic good. But when someone offers you three yokes, you can guarantee they're dabbling in piss. Fuck. I can only carry three wagon wheels. That really fucking sucks. What if I want to race people? What if I start street racing and I need those extra wheels? Alright, it is time to begin. We're gonna go all the way to Oregon, then we're gonna come back, and we're gonna go to Oregon again, and then we're gonna tell people we've been to Oregon twice. People are gonna be like, wow, that's twice the adventure, that's fucking incredible. Alright, let's do this. It is time to go titties or go home. We're gonna have meager meals, but we're gonna have a fucking record-setting pace here. What's the fastest pace? Grueling pace, there it is. That's it, that's all we need. That's all we fucking need. It's time to hit the trail. Only 102 miles, I can throw a frisbee further than that. Not even a challenge. Oh, we're already here, oh fuck, I I'm sorry, I just blinked. The speed of light's got some serious competition here with this, this wagon. What are our options? Let's take the ferry across. The ferry operator says that he will charge you five dollars and then we have to wait two days. Only five dollars? We have more money than the state of Oregon, that's no problem. Just floating across on toothpicks. And we're across safely! What an incredible start. We'll be in Oregon and lickety split. I really like the way this oxen moves at a grueling pace. It's like watching an animal cracker on a treadmill. What do we got here? Oh, it's only 3.7 feet deep here. What is, how tall is the average oxen? Like 300 feet tall? I think we can ford this bitch. I really think we can get across safely. You know, we're fording it. We didn't come this far to just take a shit and then eat it. We're gonna go for it. Fuck. Well, after a booming start, I have now lost two oxen and a party member. And not just any party member, probably the most important one you could ever lose in a party. How the fuck did that even happen? We were moving through that river at a nice brisk pace and then all of a sudden, BAM! We fell into Atlantis's chimney. Yeah, you know, we'll take a look around here. Maybe we can find a resurrection potion and bring shitting back. I'm not sure why Captain Falcon is riding a horse, but it seems he's about to ambush that wagon. Let's try and trade with some people here. Let's see what they're offering in this area. You meet another immigrant who wants 50 pounds of food, he will trade you 50 bullets. Alright, so I'm trading with a psychopath. Let's see who else is here. You meet another immigrant who wants two wagon axles, he will trade you one ox. So basically, I'll give him two wagon axles and then they'll shoot me with a fire hose. Is there any sane people here? This town can go fuck itself. Let's see what supplies I can purchase here. I'll buy two oxen to replace the two I lost while scuba diving. And that should be all I need. Yeah, you know, that's good. Let's go back to the trail here. Let's continue. Here we go. Do you really think we have time to stop, look around, take a shit, get down? Now we gotta get to Oregon. That's what we have to do. Well, we're already here. That took, like, three steps from this oxen. Ooh, here we go. Change of scenery. Now inside of a Salvador Dali landscape. Well, I've just looked at a bull's anus, and I saw its shit. There is no way anyone in that wagon has a fever. 102 miles, not bad. Another person? How the fu- Oh, shit, I'm almost out of food. Damn, I didn't even notice- I gotta pay attention to the food pounds. 
You know, I really need to start reading these directions. I know there's a way to move. You son of a bitch. It just ran up and got a big old whiff of my ass cheeks. How the fuck do I move? What is the... Maybe enter? Oh, there it is. There we go. Still don't know how to turn around, but we'll do some rail shooting here. Alright. Oh, turned around. Got it. Watch out, Circles. He's turning 360 degrees. Fuck hunting. Fuck hunting. I, I can't fucking hunt. You know, let's just rest. Maybe if we rest long enough, the party will vomit and that can replenish our food supply until we get to another town. That plan has backfired. We are now a man down. Unfortunately, it is my most polite member, because they are perpetually saying thank you to me, showing their appreciation for anything that I'm doing during this journey. Fuck you, asshole. Yes, we need to look around. I need food. Please direct me and my party to the nearest restaurant. Are you fucking shitting yourself? There is no supplies to buy. We're gonna have to trade. That is a tough pill to swallow. Well, I don't have many options here. I am fucking incompetent when it comes to hunting. And there's no supplies here, so we're gonna have to rely on other human beings for our food. Fuck every single one of you. I'd rather my party starve to death than try and trade one more time in this fucking inconsiderate town. You selfish douchebags. You know, we're going to Fort Bridger. Hopefully we can bridge the gap between starvation and a full tummy. I have to hunt. Either I go hunting and at least try and bring home the big bucks here, or my party starves to death. Alright, here we go. Show yourselves, animals. There you are. Alright, you know, alright, alright. You think you can hide behind the trees? Son of a bitch. That damn deer just rocketed off of a rock. Damn it! These bastards are elusive. These fucking trees are on their side, too. They're setting fucking... These are perfect picks! These are screening champions! Oh, of course, no food. Well, it's a little difficult when you've got the NBA's best defense playing for the animals. This looks like a nice area, nice and open. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Just walk into the bullet. Please face the animal. Damn it, what the fuck are you doing? Am I controlling an oscillating dildo? Let's just stand still. Maximum accuracy now. Perfect. Only now the animals are dodging me. Well, isn't this some fucking nonsense? Alright. Third time's the charm. This actually looks like a pretty good environment. We'll set up shop here. Why the fuck is this deer so fast? The deer just broke into my shop, stole all my shit, and left. This bear will not escape. There we go. Finally. We'll have some food. I'm just not even gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother even trying to shoot the deer. I'll take the slower animals. Oh, 100 pounds. I'll take a look around Soda Springs here, see what it has to offer. That is one happy ox. Let's try and trade here, get some supplies. Well, I should have guessed that. Apparently, my wagon is nothing but extraterrestrials here because no one wants to trade with us. Will they talk to us at least? Communicate with us? Oh, Selinda Hines wants to talk to me. My, the Soda Springs are so pretty. So she wants to tell me the Soda Springs are so fucking pretty, but she doesn't want to trade with me. That's really fucking nice, Selinda. Fuck Soda Springs. Maybe Fort Hall is a little more welcoming. Just hang on, we'll get water in a second. What the fuck just happened? Did Fort Hall shoot us with a cannon? First nobody wants to trade with us and now they're dropping airstrikes on us? We just wanted to go to town and get some supplies, we're not your enemy. Yes, I'd like to look around, but why did you attack us? Well, actually, I guess that explains it. It's a town run by deer. They're very protective of their land. I was just gonna buy some food, but now I also need to buy some supplies that I lost during the Battle of Little Big Bullshit just outside of here. Rough trail. Well, how the fuck is the trail rough? It looks pretty smooth from here. Impassable trail. Well, I mean, there's a simple solution to that. You move forward. There's nothing blocking you. There's no obstacles. How the fuck is all this happening? Are we looking at two different trails here? Because from my point of view, we're just walking on a giant 
wood plank. The water's fine. How did he break an arm? He's not doing anything. The oxen's doing all the work. Did he just, like, take his arm and slam it on his knee? Snap it in half? Actually, you know what? I do want to look around here. Is he telling us to jump off that cliff? You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently a thousand feet across and six feet deep. Well, my calculations with the ox height was drastically incorrect last time, so I'm not going to try fording it. That seems like a fair deal. I'll do the trade. We don't need the clothes anyway. Alright, here we go. It's crunch time. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking good. Excellent. That's perfect. Alright, let's continue. Where the fuck did this fog come from? How is this bitch breaking his limbs? What is he doing? He must be just deliberately slowing down the group, working for Fort Hall. Yeah, I'll take a look around Fort Boise. I think this woman's titties are exposed. It seems like there's nipples on the end of those titties, but it could just be the dress, I'm not sure. Judging by the expression on that ox, I think those titties are indeed exposed. 160 miles, that's nothing. That is nothing at all. Even with a heavy fog, it's still, uh, even bad water, it's still- What the fuck is this nonsense? And luckily I have plenty of spare parts here. Let's continue. Alright, what the fuck is going on? Are we going over landmines? I have more spare parts, let's keep going. Nothing to worry about here. Oh shit, there is something to worry about. I gotta sneeze. Shit! <laughs> oh fuck, fuck. Oh, fucking son of a bitch! Is this asshole's work? Is this how he keeps fracturing his limbs? He just keeps throwing himself at the wheels until they break? Oh, wow, I don't have any more spare parts. Wow, I've used all of my damn wagon wheels. In the short span of 15 seconds, I used every single wagon wheel. Maybe the blue wagon has wagon wheels. Or, I'm sorry, the blue mountains. It's not a blue wagon. And these mountains aren't even fucking blue. They're fucking covered in snow. And milk. How is it a rough trail? We haven't even started yet. This is just getting absolutely absurd. He now only has one usable limb. He's broken one arm and two legs. Taken three wheels with him. Well, that, that, that's a really impolite thing to do. That dude on the right is giving the dude in the middle the finger. Telling him to go fuck himself. himself. That's actually the best thing that could have happened for this journey. He was sabotaging us, so he threw himself into some quicksand. A very noble decision. That's not good, though. That is not good. We need to rest. Alright. Five days ought to do it. That should cure him of his measles. Let's continue. Is this a water mustache? I'm not going to pay a toll. We've already paid our toll with the death of shitting and thank you. That was more than enough. The only logical choice is to float down this fucking river. Now that looks extreme. Use the arrow keys to guide your raft through the rushing waters of the Columbia River. Got it. After passing the third direction sign, land your raft at the trail to the Willamette Valley. Understood. Alright. This actually seems pretty easy. I'll go right in between these rocks, that's no problem. Well, this is definitely a lot different than I expected. I was imagining some really high intensity, high speeds, dodging boulders, raging waters. But instead, I'm just dodging cotton candy in a very large bathtub. Well, if it's fucking, as long as I don't fucking sink somewhere here. And that'll be all right. What the fuck? The raft has missed the landing? How the fuck did I lose all of that just from missing the landing? Did I run into a concrete dam?
Yes. Yes. I have never been this happy. After playing this for two years, I've finally completed it. I have made it to Oregon. Let's check my high scores here, though. That seems like a pretty decent score, 1,002. I missed the 10 spot by one point. Two points if I wanted to take the 10 spot. It doesn't even fucking matter. I made it to Oregon. I completed this. Alright, well I'm done playing this. Well that's the end of this video. Remember to rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one. See ya.